this is so not gonna work out. Someone's gonna trip and die. Good morning! That was a loud, happy Thursday. You know, today is, besides the best day ever, it's YOLO day! The light's red, but it's yellow day, so we don't care. It's like the dumbest song in the world, but I like it. I like Drake, too. He's Bentley's daddy. See what shenanigans he's up to. Hi, Bulbas! Hi, my baby! How are you doing? What did you do? Did you have fun? Can you sit? Honey, you can't come out unless you sit. You want to stretch? Good boy. Sit. Honey, sit. Don't act like you don't know how to sit. You can't come out until you sit. Oh, good boy. You're such a good boy. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Did you say, where's my mom? Where did she go? Did she go out with T.T. Brandy? Did she see Molly Moo? Did she? Did she see her? Go get it. Bring it. Bring it. Go get it. Maltese on the loose. On the loose, wild puppy. Be free. Be free. Hey, I thought he might have an accident because I was washing his faux grass, so I didn't know if he would go on it. I wonder, and I fed him, put this in there, and it's empty, he ate all the food. You ate all the cables and all the bits, even though that's not what you eat, but you ate them all. Nope, Fatty McFatty weighs eight pounds. Well, at least I think, because I can't get him to stand on the scale and for it to stay on. So I have to weigh myself, which I hate doing, and then hold him. But there's no way he weighs eight pounds. Here it's just 6.3. I'm in denial. I'm in denial. You weigh, oh my God, when I got him, he was four, 4.2? You're such a big bubs. You're gonna be a big bubs. Oh, he's five months old now, five and a half months old. No, his birthday, January 29th. So he'll be six months old at the end of July. He said his weight, he'll probably be between eight and nine, so I guess the breeder was right. You come from good breeding stock, bubs. If you're wondering why he's wearing a leash, no, we're not going anywhere, even though we should, because it's late. I was home before, I'm not like a jerk. I was home before, I even went back out. He's been getting a little confused about potty training. Like, he'll be fine one day, and then the next day it's like, bam. He forgot. I'm doing the umbilical cord tether method. So that way, when I'm like standing over here or something, he's around me and I can keep an eye on him and we can get back on track of potty training because technically for his breed and age, he's a teenager now. Even though he's only five months, I consider him like a toddler. He's an adolescent. And during their adolescent phase, they kind of forget everything he taught them and they do what they want to do. And you just have to reinforce rules and boundaries, yes. But isn't his leash so cute? It's reflective. It's by a company called Blueberry Pet. I think it's super cute and it's in Bentley Blue. I accidentally ordered two of them, but it's, I'll just keep them. What are you doing, Bubba's? You're all twisted and turned and twisted. Do you want to wear your harness? No, it's stupid. Oh, good boy. Oh no, go potty. I got leftovers, pee off chain. Brandy Bear says, hey y'all. Oh, I got stuff at Target you all wanna see. You got a new toy, Bubba. Got a Red Kong. I figured I'd just get a few of them so that way I can keep it in the freezer. Like, you know, have one always ready. Aw, uh, he likes to play with it even though there's no food in it. This is so not gonna work out. Someone's gonna trip and die. A needle compact. Because I needed to thread a bow. I don't know what I was doing. And then I realized that I can't find this thing. I don't know what it's called. The needle threader. And the needles I had sucked. So I was like, oh. 
I walked right by that and I need that. So now I have a bunch of needles that I'll use like twice a year. I got that for you with my money. So just remember that, honey. Just remember. My money. Here, let's put a cookie in it. Like a puppy pacifier. You just put a little bit of some good good in there and he's good. I got some wax because I've been feeling waxy. No, they're wax melts by Febreze and they smell like Hawaii. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? Yeah, it smells so good, guys, right? Febreze, aloha thing for my fan. Blade, warmer thing. And I don't know where I want to put it because I didn't read all the instructions. You have to plug it in. Maybe it can live here for now because there's a plug here. Let's see if it works. Can you stand how exciting this is? Like, this is crazy. I don't think I want it to live in that spot. I want it to live here, but there is a plug here. And I think all the stupid outlet, oh, there's room. I could put it here. I don't know, I just don't feel like dealing with logistics tonight. It didn't smell good. Melt and smell good. Just obsessed with my house not smelling like dog. So we're gonna put the Febreze in the fan. Let's see if I could figure this out. I think it goes this way. Bam. Cause my mommy's coming. I want her to come to a fresh, fresh house. Guess what's ready, Bubba's? Your grass. Let's go get it out the machine. I think one of them needs to be replaced cause that machine looked like heck. He's like, why are you leashing me all around the house? Oh, now they're all stuck to each other. Okay, so he like couldn't wait for the grass to be done and he peed on it. But I happened to have a puppy pad under it. So who cares? Now you can be free from me for a little while. Look, the butter wax is melting. He's checking boxes out. I think he needs to poop. I don't want to helicopter parent him, but I need to keep an eye on him. And then he does that. You got a big poop in your butt and you want it out, don't you? I'm gonna make a concoction to spray over where he kept missing a lot to remove the odor from the stain. And then my house is gonna smell like vinegar and the smell of vinegar makes me wanna throw up and die. Straight up legit throw up and die. He has to go poopy so bad. He's going in his box. It's like he's not retarded today, it's so weird. Good potty, Bubba's. Who am I?